Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Barbaris. In our last video, we configured our software update group, and in this one, we're going to be configuring our drivers and operating system images. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Software Library, Operating Systems, and we're going to create a driver package. So, let's right click our driver package. We're going to click Create, WinPE, Driver Manufacturers, HP. Our driver model, we know that we downloaded 2.6.0, and we place those in this directory here, and select folder. It doesn't exist yet. You can click OK. And there we go. It'll create that for us. There we are. Now we can right click drivers, click import driver, and we're going to select our WinPE drivers that we downloaded. Now if you have a newer version than 2.6.0, make sure that you use the uh, servicing pack number for that and the correct folder. Okay, highlight that, browse, select folder, there we go, click next and give that a few moments until those import and I'll be right back. Okay, that took a little bit, but that's okay. Hide drivers that are not in a storage or network class. We're gonna click that box there. Okay. Click next. We're gonna select our WinPE next. We're gonna click our boot image next. Click yes. Next, and I'll let that import, and I'll be right back. All right, that's coming along. We're at almost 60%, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So those have been imported. We've waited. Our drivers are now populated. Now we're going to go to Software Library Operating Systems, okay? And we're going to go to Boot Images. We're going to right click on our boot image, click properties, drivers, give that a moment. All right, we're verifying they're there. Click on customization. We're going to specify the background image. Now I showed you that one in the beginning. So we'll highlight this, browse, open, there we go. Data source. Make sure that deploy this boot image from Pixie enabled distribution point is checked. We're going to choose our language. And our architecture is x64. Click apply. Yes. You can see our version here, 3155. I had you update that uh, WinPE WIM. So if we look here, we say 3155, we can see that was February 13th. Now they did do a out of uh, sequence update on February 29th, but that's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna be okay with the 3155, which was released on the 13th. Now, if you're doing this video later on, of course, you'll see newer ones. I always like to do the one that is released on Patch Tuesday. There we go. We verified our version. Click next. Next again. And it's mounting the source whim. And we'll come back when that's done. Looks like we're at about 90%. All right. So I'll come back when it's at 100. Okay. And we have our imports good. Click close. Okay. And we're good to go there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to distribute our boot image. So you can right click on it, click distribute content. Next, click on add distribution point, select our CM01. Okay, next, next, and close. There we go. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to browse to our operating system folders. 
where we have our Windows 10. There we are. I'm going to right click new folder and create a 22H2 folder. And within that, I'm going to create a multi folder and an enterprise folder. All right. We'll go here to Windows 10. I'm going to double click on our Win 10 22H2 multi ISO, select all, copy, go back to this folder, go into multi, and paste there. Okay, give that a few moments, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we are. So, what we can do now, there we go. And I'm going to right click on the J drive and click eject. I'm going to go back to Windows 10 here. I'm going to double click our enterprise ISO. I'm going to do the same thing. Select all, copy, 22H2, enterprise. And you can either click paste here and, or you can right click and click paste. We're going to let that go. And I'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, and that one's done as well. So I'm going to right click on J drive and click eject. There we go. All right, we did the Windows 10 and now we'll go to our Windows 11. So operating systems, Windows 11. We're going to create a 23H2 folder here. And then inside this one, We'll also create a multi and an enterprise folder. All right, double click on this one, select all, copy, 23H2, multi, and paste that. Be right back. Okay, we're good there. Let's move this up just a little bit. Go look our J drive, right click eject Windows 11 now we're going to do our enterprise ISO select all copy enterprise and paste and I'll come back when that one's done okay and we're done there now we're going to go to line 101 102 and we're going to go to our server operating system we're going to create a new 21H2 folder. Double click on our ISO. Select all. Copy. Go back one folder. And we'll paste that there. And I'll be right back. Okay, and our server is copied over. We're going to go back up here. Right click on J. Eject. And it looks like we didn't eject the last one, that's okay. Okay, eject. All right. Now, in our operating systems, we're going to be importing the operating system images for Windows 10, Windows 11. But when we get down to our server 2022, you have to understand that in the server operating system, BitLocker has not been enabled on the WIM. So if you try to deploy it without enabling BitLocker, in OSD, you'll get a volume uh, unmountable error. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount that ISO. We're going to enable the BitLocker and BitLocker utilities in the, the ISO itself. And then we're going to unmount it and save that. And then we'll import that operating system. Okay, so let's go back up here where we were. And we're good there. So let's close this. We're going to start here on 112, Operating System Images. We're going to right click, click Add Operating System Image. And our path, of course, is going to be that multi ISO. That's the first one. Open. Click here. Extract a specific image. I'm going to put the Pro version there for the multi. Next, language, select your language, 
and of course our architecture stays x64. I'm going to call this Windows 10 Pro 64-bit in our version 22H2. Next, next, give that a moment. It's going to export the single image and I'll come back when that's done. And there we go. Click close. And there we go. Now we're going to distribute that content. So right click, distribute. Next, at our distribution point. Next, next, and close. And of course, I'm going to run a timeout. So I'll just timeout and I'll change this to 60 seconds. And we'll come back when that's ready. Okay, we're back. Now what we'll do is we'll just click here on driver packages, click on operating system images. And when we click here, we'll see that we have success in our distribution of that content. All right, now the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna right click again add operating system image. This time it's our enterprise version. So click browse. There we go. Click by checking. And you'll see there's only one version in there, enterprise. So we click next. Choose your language again. And architecture. Next. Windows 10 enterprise. 64 bit, 22H2, next, next, and close that. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to distribute the content. So right click on Enterprise, distribute content, next, add our distribution point, OK, next, next, close, and we're going to do another 60 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we can click on Windows 10 Pro and and click on Windows 10 Enterprise. You see it's still in process. That's okay. Give that a few moments. We're going to wait till it comes back. Okay, we waited another 60 seconds and we're good to go. That happens sometimes and that's okay. You just you got to be patient with Mechum in the beginning. All right. So now we're going to go to our Windows 11. So right click operating system images, add. This will be our Windows 11 multi for pro. So browse, open up. Oh, that's okay. Let's go and find out. Maybe we made a spelling mistake here. Let's try this one more time. Ah, yes. So here we are. So just type multi here and highlight, paste. There we go. See, this is why we do these videos, so we can change a few things. I will uh, re-upload this with the correct uh, information there. Click extract a specific one, 11 Pro, next. And we'll go down to United States, X64, next. Windows 11 Pro, 64-bit, 23H2, next, and next. And give that a few moments. So it looks like we added Enterprise here, so we're good to go on that one. Okay, we're back and we'll close that one. And now we're going to distribute that. So right click, distribute content, next, at our distribution point. Okay, next, and next. And we're going to do our 60 second timeout and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's see what if we got our distribution uh, content. There we go. Okay, so those three are good. And now we're going to do our 
11, Windows 11 Enterprise. So right click, add operating system image. There we go, copy that, browse, open, and you can see it's already there, Windows 11 Enterprise. Choose your language, 64, Windows 11 Enterprise, 64-bit, 23H2, next, next, close, and one more time. Let's do our timeout. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's see if we've got our Windows 11 Enterprise distributed yet. Oh, no, we got it imported. Let's distribute it now. All right, next. Distribute. Next, next. And there we go. We're down here. And we're going to do our timeout. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We should be around here. Let's click here. And all four of these have been distributed. We're good there. Let's close Configuration Manager Console. We're going to right-click our desktop. Right-click, open here as administrator. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, enable the... BitLocker on our WIM file. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll highlight from here all the way to 246. Right click, and it's going to mount that WIM. We're doing this before we import our server 2022 ISO because like I said earlier in the video, when you deploy the server image and it doesn't have BitLocker enabled, you'll get an unmountable boot volume, okay? So I'm just gonna let that go. I'm actually gonna keep this on the screen. You guys can uh, skip if you'd like when I go to reopen Configuration Manager Console, but what I'm going to do is uh, wait until this is finished so that you can see what process it goes through. Okay, so, and this is a good way to uh, do some offline servicing for your image. If you'd like, you can enable other features, .NET Framework, as long as you have the sources folder, uh, you can, add patches uh, and get that image as up to date as you'd like before you import it. Me, I like to just use the basic WIM file, but with the minimum amount of changes that I need to make. Okay, so you can see here that it enabled the Windows optional feature, which was BitLocker. It also installed all BitLocker utilities, which are the management tools. The path here, it's committing that um, back into the image. We only mounted the index two, which is the one we're going to use standard with desktop environment. Okay, so right now it's saving that and then it'll unmount it, okay? And once that's done, we can import it and we'll be deploying. I'm going to deploy an enterprise um, Windows 10, an enterprise Windows 11, and then the server 2022 standard. Now you can deploy a pro, an enterprise, whatever you'd like. Uh, I myself, I use the enterprise version, so doesn't matter. We're going to create two workstations, WS001 and WS002, and then TS001, which will be our test server. And that will be done with our lab setup, and you guys can 
then modify and change whatever you'd like. Okay, almost done. There we go. Oh, uh, no worries there. That's just the for remove directory. So what I can do is I can exit and no worries about that. Let's go find out if it removed that folder. Okay. There we go. And we can delete it ourselves, which is fine. We can take that command out. Okay, and now we're going to reopen our Configuration Manager console. We're going to go to Software Library, Operating Systems, Operating System Images, right click, Add Operating System Image, and we're going to add that when we just created. I accept. There we go. And there should only be one um, in there for right now, which is fine. Select the specific image. There we go. Two. United States. X64. Next. Windows Server 2022. Standard 21H2, next, and next. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're good to go there. The task add operating system image is good. Click close. And we're going to right click on that. Click distribute content. Next, add our distribution point. Okay, next, and next. And, as usual, we'll go up here, do our 60 seconds, and we'll come right back. Okay, we're back. Let's see if that's good. There's that one. That one. There we go. Go. And our Server 2022 standard. Success. We've deployed all that. Our distribution, our, our distribution points now have all that information. And we can wait for success. We're done. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up some applications. And then we are going to do OS deployment. I will see you then.